Yo, what's up everybody? This is Reese from Sea Manga and welcome to my review of Fairy Tale Chapter 369, The Place Prayers Are Heard. So you know what? I ain't even gonna lie, I had to read this chapter twice to fully understand what the hell was going on in it. So the action just moved that damn quick and it's like what the hell is happening? You know, um to tell the truth it kinda of felt like a few pages got missed out somewhere because yeah, there was just a couple points where it didn't kinda of just fully flow, but other than that, the chapter was pretty crazy. So yeah, um, Obviously, it looked like Zero kind of vaporized Jalal. Um, when you kind of like see his shoe fall behind Melody, I was just like, oh my god, his leg got blown off. But no, you know, obviously, on a closer look, it was just obviously his beat up shoe just empty on the floor. Obviously, he's like, they're probably barefooted. But yeah, that's like kind of like this is obviously one of the points I'm talking about here, which kind of felt like a couple of pages got missed out because um, Jalal returns, yeah, and then it's like obviously he had blinded himself. Um, Zero, he basically just like dropped to the ground, he's down and out now, no idea how that happened. You know, it's like, did Jalal kind of like strike him down? Did he finally uh, react to the, all the blood he's lost at his brain? You know, obviously when he was skewered, did he finally react from losing all that blood? So now he's like, okay, I've done my job, boom, I'm out cold. What the hell actually happened there? I have no clue. It was a bit kind of confusing, because then after this we don't see Zero ever again. You know, it's like, okay, what the hell just happened? But anyway, after Jalal obviously returns, he basically proceeds to completely decimate the rest of the Eurasian Six, uses his Grand Chariot and his Star Crush, two moves that look friggin' awesome. I swear, um, if like, I would have I would have thought like the results of these two attacks would have been completely different, it would have just basically yielded a completely different result, you know? Um, I would have thought like, basically the Eurasian Six guys, they would have just been vaporized turned to dust that is how badass these attacks looked but nope um they're basically just still alive defeated but yeah alive anyway um so anyway with them defeated what's left for them death jail or basically off they cannot refuse join in crime sorcery so you know that is actually kind of a pretty cool thing you know um crime sorcery they'll become like a really powerful guild now with these guys in them because obviously they have lost um what's the name Old tier, they lost her, and there was only three of them. But now, there's what seven of them. <laughs> God, sorry, a bit of maths there. Yeah, now there's seven of them, so it, they should be pretty good. You know, obviously they're gonna try to defeat Zerif, but with their power, the Ration Six plus Jalal. I don't know. I don't think they can take on Zerif by themselves, but they could at least take on who is it? Um, the demons. They can at least take them on. You know, they can at least probably kick a good few of their asses. But anyway, now with Jalal kind of blind. I wonder what that's gonna kind of do to him because obviously he's a sorcerer so I don't think he'll kind of reduce his power that much he could probably he'll probably end up like using some sort of different magic or whatever to kind of like enhance his senses even more so he can properly see with them kind of like what's his name daredevil kind of thing yeah but anyway um like I said what the hell actually happened to zero it's kind of bugging me a little because after these two attacks you don't see him at all you don't even see his like corpse anywhere so did those spells kind of like kill him after he passed out or did he kind of run off somewhere? I don't know, they haven't found like... Hopefully in the next chapter they will go back to it a little bit and then fully explain what the hell actually happened to the guy. Because at the moment, he's just like, okay, I'm done drawing him now, gone. Don't need to see him anymore. So yeah, like I said, part was really, really cool, but I just feel like it was missing a few pages to fully explain what the hell was going on. So yeah, anyway, if Jalal is actually still alive now, what the hell was the ex-chairman so happy about in the last chapter? Well, he basically found a way to pass the possession of the key from Jalal to someone else, namely himself. Um, yeah, so now that he's obviously got the power to be able to transfer that key and everything, it's like, yeah, now we can pass it to some other random person and kill them. And then, yeah, the spell will be broken, so it's like, yeah, we can chuck onto one of them random fairies and then kill them, and face will be unlocked. What an idiot. Seriously. It's like, he obviously, he didn't realise that is basically his usefulness has just expired. Just then, second, he obviously found the key. It's like, yep, you're done with now we don't need you. So, and plus, like, obviously, he knows so much about this operation. It's like, and now he's obviously the last key. It was only, like, natural that Kyoya would just come along, killing two birds with one blade, stab him in the chest. Yep, it's over. ex chairman's taken out. No one, knows their, no one knows their objectives fully. And plus, now, face is unlocked. So... <laughs> it was a bit kind of like silly for him to be thinking stuff like that you know obviously he thought that he was proper in there with them but they're just using him as a tool just like 
well, everyone else probably would have, you know, it's just a normal thing. So, obviously, they only needed him to locate the ex-council members, um, so yeah, they didn't need him. Would have pretty much been the same result regardless of, even if like his plan went along, they chucked it on some random person or a fairy tale member and killed them, they still would have killed the ex-chairman guy after. Because, like I said, they don't need him anymore. His whole point, the whole point of him being there was just to, what, locate the key. That's all they needed him for. Locate the key, locate all the ex council members, so go kill them, find out who has the key, and then that's it, done. So, yeah, with that now, face is unlocked. Duration 6 are defeated. So, what the hell's next? Well, Elfman, at the end, it kind of looked like he was ready to detonate the Larchmar. Okay, you know, the thing about this is, if he is being controlled like a puppet, why the hell doesn't he just say, guys, I'm being controlled, you know, this is what's going to be happening? Because... It doesn't kind of like seem like that enchantment controls his speech per se, just like his movement. So I don't see why he wouldn't be able to, unless oh god, what's her name? Unless basically the demon chick is kind of like watching him continuously while this is happening. Therefore, it's like, yep, if you say anything or do anything funny, everyone I'm just gonna kill your sister. So that kind of there would have been the only thing that was kind of like stopping from doing that. But yeah, if he could. If like she wasn't watching, he could actually say something. Why the hell won't you just tell everyone then, and they can kind of like come up with a solution to sort all this? Um, and also, final thing is that now that demons have kind of like completed their objective, what the hell's going to happen to Urza? You know, would they just like throw her in a cage along with Natsu and Nisana, or are they going to like hook her up onto the demon maker to turn her into a demon? And speaking of that, what the hell has become a mirror now? So like, surely the process has finished, you know, or is at least ninety percent done. Because like last time we saw her, obviously she had like the whole vein things going into her and everything, and it's like all painful. So, and that was like what five, six chapters ago. So, what the hell's happened at this point now? That's what I want to know. What the heck's going on? Are they going to be able to save her from it, or is she just basically gone for good? Because that'd be kind of sad, you know. Obviously she's one of the most powerful members of fairy tale. So yeah, um, that there pretty much wraps up this chapter and all my thoughts on it, guys. You know, I thought it was a decent chapter. Would have liked for there to be a couple more pages in there just to kind of like, I don't know, beef it up a bit more so we can kind of fully understand what's happening. There was obviously a few parts where just jumped, 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 and it's like, yeah, this isn't fully clear. I'm going to have to kind of make this up as I go along then in my head. So yeah, it would have been kind of nice for there to be a couple extra pages just to kind of like, yeah, fill it out a bit more. But yeah, with all that said, good chapter. I enjoyed it, but what did you guys think of it? You can let me know in your comments below. As usual, if you enjoyed the video, give it a little thumbs up, helps out a lot, and don't forget to check out the other stuff we do on the channel. So, I'll see you next time.